Next up, we have some Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics. I have a very strong feeling that these guys will be totally fine in the elevator. Will they survive? Down we go. Welcome back to People Playground. I'm starting this episode off with a helicopter rescue. And this guy seems pretty excited about it. So as you can see, there's a couple of people stranded here out at sea. And we need to rescue them right away. But you see, the biggest issue is I've never flown this helicopter before. So I'm just going to take it nice and slow. Oh, I'm doing it. No, hold fire, hold fire. We definitely do not want to shoot these people. They need rescuing. Uh, that would end up killing them. Okay, nice and slow. They're actually not that far out. Okay. It. Here we go. And there they are. So I say we go down just a little bit. You know what? This is actually quite easy to control. Hello! It's a rescue, you guys. All right, we're going to lower the rope. You guys just need to attach yourselves to it. And then uh, we'll take you back to land. Okay, there we go. Rope's now attached. Okay, let's, uh, let's get out of here, shall we? Yes. Oh, it's actually working. This rescue is actually going well. Usually in people playground, it goes terribly wrong, especially when I'm piloting. Oh, I'm shooting again. No, no, oh, no. He's fine. <laughs> He's all right. Don't worry about it. Uh, just a little wound there. <laughs> Okay, let's continue the rescue, shall we? Right, not far now. We're almost there. Wait, what's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa! No! No! What's going on? No! Engine failure! Engine failure! No! Oh, no! Oh, wait, no! We're back, we're back! Okay, uh, fly up somehow in the water. Oh, no. They're being dragged to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, no! Oh, there goes the pilot. Well, that's never a good sign. Um, okay, well, I, I guess I spoke too soon. I said about the rescue going well, and this is how it's, it's ended. Yeah. Moving on from the terrible rescue right there, some of you might have noticed the water physics. So I've actually installed a uh, pretty new mod, and I want to see it in action a little more. So set off the explosive here, watch the building go down. Yeah, look at the water. Look at that. It is a little bit laggy at times. I got it on quite a high setting. Okay, let's try and get the whole building to fall into the water. Here we go. Yes, water physics and people playground. That is awesome. Whoa, we made quite a big wave there. And down goes the building. Whoa, that is really, really cool. Right, so I've gone ahead and spawned in this destroyer right here. Let's see if we can actually sink it and see what it's like with those water physics. Fire. Oh! Oh, uh oh, oh, I think I broke the mod. I don't think the water's supposed to look like that. Oh, that's so strange. Surely this thing is going to sink, right? You know, what? actually, I don't think it will. It's got way too many barrels underneath it. It's going to stay afloat probably forever. So maybe if we just sell off these explosives here with my two frames per second right now. And here comes the regret. Ah! Okay, I actually want it isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. But it is very laggy, so we should probably get out of here. So I also found this guy in the workshop, and we're going to see him in action. I've brought back this building here, which is filled with more ragdolls. So his objective is just to go ahead and, well, destroy the entire building. So let's see if he can do it. So the first thing I have is laser eyes, which I think... Could be quite useful. Yep, there we go. Using those lasers to destroy that guy right there. Nice. But as you can probably tell, we're not doing a crazy amount of damage. So I say we get a little bit closer. Activate my heat fists, which I guess is just going to do extra damage. Yep, you can see they're getting very hot right now. All right, let's get a little closer and then smash down the wall. Oh, can I set stuff on fire? Looks like that guy's burning. Man, I must be really hot right now. Yep, everything's on fire. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is good. Now, there is another other thing that I can do, but uh, it, it might kill me. I have the option to self-destruct. So yeah, I'll definitely die. But you know what? It's fine because the whole building should come down. All right, here we go. Oh, yes, it worked. Oh, that was so worth it. And there we go. We pretty much killed everyone inside the building. Uh, although we have a survivor here. Not on my watch. Oh, ooh. and then just to make sure, atomic bomb. Yes, there we go. And now I am back on the new substructure map because I want to play around with the elevator some more because that's like my favorite thing to do on this map right here. Anyway, we got some Marvel characters and Howard the Duck. Well, I would just add him in. So we have Tony Stark over here. Let's get him in the Iron Man suit. There we go. And now off you pop into the elevator. So the question is, will any of these survive? 
the drop because in a moment the elevator will fail and go all the way to the bottom here also i'm just gonna throw in a normal human just to see what happens to him right now we need to make the elevator fail somehow i guess maybe i could probably just uh use my mouse and try and move it a little bit oh yeah there we go i got it down goes the elevator brace for impact oh is iron man okay i think captain america is is gone wait no he's alive he's alive i think everyone survived apart from well the ragdoll the normal human never mind the duck's also dead Ugh, captain america i'll save you Ugh. oh whoops okay there we go spider-man has also made out alive somehow although i think he's just knocked out at the moment iron man is uh in very good shape and you know what i had a feeling that iron man would be okay because obviously he's wearing the suit oh wait captain america's dead but that might have been my fault all right spider-man now fly oh no what are you doing? He's webbed his own head. Go. Use your Spider-Man powers. Yes, look at that. Okay, let's run some more elevator tests, shall we? Next up to test the elevator, we have a bunch of Star Wars characters right here. So let's see who of them will survive. Right, I'm just gonna go ahead and, well, destroy the elevator. There we go. I actually think a lot of these guys are gonna die. Ooh. Wait, why? Why is there a fire? Okay, that might might be my fault with the lightsaber. I think I might have heated up the elevator a little bit there. The bow droid is completely fine, though. Barely any damage. Everyone else, however, well, uh, yeah, they're not too good. But don't worry, I shall deal with the bow droid. Hit! Did that work? Yep, <laughs> that was actually really cool. Next to test the elevator, we have some five nicer characters. Characters? What am I saying? I think what I said was fine, actually. Nope. Next up, we have some Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics. I have a very strong feeling that these guys will be totally fine in the elevator. All right, here we go. Bonnie Chica, Freddy, and Boxy. Will they survive? Down we go. All right, brace for impact. Oh, oh. Freddy has gone through the elevator. Uh, I'll get him out. There we go. Did they do it? I think they, they all survived. Oh, whoops. I did not mean for that to happen. No. Oh, guys, look out! Oh, still okay? Oh, uh, oh boy. I'm just gonna... Yeah, they survived. So, I am gonna conduct some more experiments. So, I've put some animatronics at the bottom of the elevator shaft, and uh, I've also added some spikes. And as you can see, they're kind of moving all over the place, so I've done a pretty bad job on this. So, I'm just adding some uh, some cables now, just to help, and then that way they don't sway. So, instead of breaking the elevator, I say we just uh, send it to the bottom floor. So, this could be quite a slow death for the animatronics at the bottom. Ah, look at this. All having a nice time. Got Roxanne Wolf here, and here comes the elevator. Right, let's see what happens. Are they going to get crushed and impaled <gasps> oh! Oh, 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 oh boy okay so it looks like we have some survivors bonnie is in a bad way right now bonnie has been fully impaled and up it goes oh it's taking them it's taking them up uh oh freddy's fallen out oh but he's fine bonnie is going to die very quickly all right so here's what we're gonna do now i'm gonna break the elevator make it go into a free fall once again and uh well hopefully this time it should just kill them straight away. Here we go. Oh, big impact right there. That was pretty nuts. So I've gone ahead and removed the spikes underneath. And now I have an even stranger amount of characters here. Uh, cartoon dogs here for some reason. And we also have Spider-Man. I've just ate his head. Okay. Well, there goes Spider-Man's head. Now also at the bottom of the elevator shaft, I have this poor human at the bottom. Unfortunately, he is not going to make it. All right. Here we go. Oh, that's loud. Why are we stuck? What's going on? Cartoon dog is making so much noise right now. What is happening? How is this thing jammed like that? Oh, we're going down. We're going down. We're holding on again. I think Mario's stuck. Mario, move your arm. That's it. Okay, now we're going back down. Yes! Nice! We did it. Okay, go, dog. You can uh, you can be quiet now. Oh, man, he's so loud. Oh, we have some survivors here. We have Bonnie. Bonnie's fine. Uh, Oh, boy. Is that what's left of Freddy? Freddy really got messed up. And so did Mario. Chica. Chica is fine. Now, this time, I've added a bunch of weights to the elevator. And uh, I've actually had to freeze the elevator in place because it was already falling. It couldn't actually hold what I put inside. And then at the bottom, we have Glamrock Freddy. All that weight is definitely going to crush him. Okay, so here we go. Let's unfreeze it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I need to try and actually break the elevator first. Okay, there we go. I got it. And down it goes. Oh, oh, that's a lot of weight. You know what? Let's uh, let's use my mouse cursor here. 
and put even more weight onto him. Oh, he's made his way into the elevator. Is he still alive? He is. How do you survive that? This next experiment I've tried on a human before and it worked pretty well, but let's see if it works on an animatronic. So we have Bonnie right here. He is actually looking up at the elevator and hopefully this should just rip the head of Bonnie off like straight away. So let's find out. Hold on, Foxy. Oh, I don't know if that worked or not. Uh, oh, he's dead. It did work. I mean, his head didn't rip off. But it's still pretty good. I'll just get a chainsaw and finish the job. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I got it. We took Bonnie's head off. Perfect. But anyway, on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. There's another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye.